Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. This week, I gave myself a challenge. I wanted to design three original, or at least original for me, quilt blocks based on a nine patch. See the steps that I took to create those blocks using Electric Quilt 8. On the home screen, I will select New Project, and I'm going to label this one Quantum Leap. So once I've added, put the name in, I will select OK. On the home screen, I'll select Design a Block from Scratch, and then select a new block, Pieced, Easy Draw. When designing nine patches, I like to use nine inches for my block width and height. For my snaps, I typically will start by selecting snaps that go every half inch. So if I'm designing at nine by nine, then my snaps will typically be set at 18 by 18. Graph paper cells only provide a visual reference, and that will not be needed for these blocks, so no need to turn those on. For snapping options, turn on Snap to Grid, and make sure all the others are turned off. Then select the Grid tool, and make sure the number of columns is set to 3 and rows are set to 3. Then drag a grid from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Now we will be doing all of our drafting within each of the segments of the 9 patch. Select the Line tool and we will start with the center unit of the top. And we're going to start at the middle of the bottom of that segment and draw a line to the upper right corner of that segment. Now I will repeat that same unit in every other segment going around the block. And my goal is for the units to look like they are spinning. Select the Color tab. Under Fabric Tools, I'm going to select Open Library, and I will select the EQ Stash Online, and then the 2019 Download 1, and I will select the collection called Andover Quantum. And I will do a Select All Fabrics, Add to Sketchbook, and Close. Use the paintbrush to color the star, and the spray can to color all of the background. And then I will add this to the project sketchbook. The next nine patch is going to be a variation on this one. So I'm going to go back to the Draw tab, and with the Line tool, I'm going to take those same units that I was working on before and create a Spotlight unit. Now for a Spotlight unit, you start in one of the corners and you go to the uh, two lines that um, are opposite that particular corner. And in particular, you want to intersect at the midpoint of those lines. Now I will want to repeat this unit in every other segment going around the center. And I want these units to spin as well. Then I decided to put something in each of the corners. And so I decided to first of all divide the, the corners in two so it looks like a half square triangle. And then I took the midpoint of that diagonal line and connected it to the spotlight unit. And so I will do that for all of the remaining corners. And then I will go to the Color tab and I will use the paintbrush to make adjustments to the coloration. I, I will now select Add to Project Sketchbook. For the next one, I will do a new block, Pieced, Easy Draw, and I'm going to select the Grid tool. It still should be set at 3x3, three three, and I'll drag another grid from the upper left corner to the lower right. Now I decided to use the Line tool and create a half square triangle in one of those alternate uh, squares. Then use the Line tool and draw a one and a half inch finish size folded corner on one side of the half square triangle. 
Then I will repeat that unit drafting in every other segment going around the center of the block. Then I decided for the center that I would do a square within a square. For the upper left corner, I will segment that into two rectangles. And then I will draw diagonal lines connecting the lower corners of the block with the center of the top. Once I have that unit done, I will repeat that rotating each segment 90 degrees as I spin around the center. And then I will go to the Color tab and color that. And I will add this to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. Next week I will share with you how I took these three blocks and put them in a quilt layout. So to get that tutorial, make sure you sign up for my newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.